How are we doing today? It's gonna get better. Uh, I am Mr. Joy, I'm the athletic director and I, I started a program years ago called Scott's Angels and it's grown into the monster we know it today. And I, someone asked me this morning, they said, well, how do you do it? And my answer was, I don't do it. I don't do it at all. I'm the face of it, but the work is done by our elementary students, our middle school students, and the biggest high school in the state of Oregon. And the question always comes up, you know, what is it about David Douglas students that allows kids from Southeast Portland to give so much? And it's a really good question, and I've been thinking about this a lot, and it comes down to two things, three things. One, kids in this building know what it's like to have needs. Absolutely. And the reality is that the person sitting to your left and the person sitting to your right they are fighting their fight right now. There is something going on with a person around you that you don't know about. And what do you do with it? Here's what you do with it. There's two things. You can have empathy. Everyone has empathy. When you see someone in need, you have empathy and you think that's terrible. Sympathy, excuse me. Everyone has sympathy. But empathy is sympathy with action. Empathy is hard. Empathy is that feeling down deep in your gut that someone needs something and you want to help but you don't really know how to do it. Empathy is personal. It's personal. You don't pass someone in the hallway who's having a bad day and just ignore them. You don't see a kid in medical crisis and think, well, they'll be okay on their own. Empathy with action is the key to this. Now, the reality is this, every person in this room wants the same things. We all want to be loved, we want to be cared for, we want to be taken care of, and most importantly, we want to feel like we're part of something. You are part of something great here at David Douglas High School, I believe that down in my heart. And today, you're going to have an opportunity to have empathy with action. And I'm going to introduce you to someone here in a minute. We've been doing this for uh, 16 or 17 years. We've raised $140,000, $150,000 through this building. <laughs> Elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, staff members. And every year we rally around a child. We adopt a child in medical crisis and we love them. We wrap our arms around them. There's gonna be things you can do for the next month that's gonna change this family's life forever. And that's empathy with action. Heroes are defined as people who are admired because they have courage. People who are admired because they have special talents. I'm going to induce you to a hero today. Someone that you're going to have an opportunity to practice empathy with action. This year, Scott's Angel is a sixth grader, or six-year-old, excuse me, a first grader named Wesley Strobel. Wesley, come on with me. Give it a hand for Wesley. Woo! Yeah, Wesley! Last Halloween, Wesley was diagnosed with leukemia. And for the past year, he's been under undergoing treatments. He is a hero. He has courage. This family is in the fight. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake. That's right. Wesley is a first grader, and Wesley's going through this stuff, and we are here today to start today to practice empathy with action. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to raise money over the next couple of weeks and we're going to support this family financially and we're going to wrap our arms around them and show them that kids in David Douglas in Southeast Portland are there for them. Unexpected by most people, but not any staff member or student in this gym. That's a fact. I don't know much, but I know that. Now, I, got, I want to introduce you to someone else here real quick too. There, any country music fans around here? 
<laughs> Mr. Bailey? I'm Mr. Castle. I used to come. One of my favorite songs, and don't Google it during school hours because you'll get in trouble. There's a song called Angels Among Us. And the song is about teaching us how to live, teach us how to give, and guide us with a light of love. You don't know this. There's an angel, there's two angels in this room. We have Wesley Strobel here, our angel this year. And I want to introduce you to someone else who is in this very same seat, almost at the exact same age. Everyone, this is our Scots Angels from years ago, and I'm making him very uncomfortable right now. But you know what? He's a lot tough. He's tough. He's tough. I know firsthand because I know what he went through. I want to introduce you to our Scots Angels who's walking around with you every day. Adrian. <laughs> Now, Adrian, Adrian was in this exact same spot, and I'm gonna keep it together here if I can. Adrian had the exact same thing that Wesley had. Exact same thing. And part of the great thing about Scott's Angels is we get to see the success stories that you guys provide. Now, I've got some good news. Over the next month, you're gonna have lots of opportunities to raise money. Right? Empathy with action. Next Wednesday, during advisory, which I know you guys all love and are going to go to, you're going to want to go to advisory next week. Next Wednesday, we're going to have what's called the Miracle Minute. And we're going to raise money for Wesley on Wednesday of next week. Now, this is empathy with action. It gets better. We have a donor in this room who has pledged $5,000 in matching funds to whatever you raise next Wednesday. Woo now, that's good news. So whatever we raise in our Miracle Minute, it's gonna be matched up to five grand. That's empathy with action. Now, there's gonna be lots of stuff you can do. The, uh, for our middle school and ele elementary school students, staff members, I'm challenging you. You know, this is a hard time. S at the Scott's Angels website, there is a donation page that's open right now. And it's going to be open until the end of this, act the, this cycle where we finish with this last assembly. But I'm going to ask you to do something that we, we haven't had many assemblies in here. Not, not a lot of participation, but you have to do this in absolute silence. Shake your head. Now, next Wednesday and over the course of the next month, if you want to practice empathy with action, I'm going to ask you to do something in absolute silence. I'm going to ask all of you in a symbol to this family who's in the fight to show them that David Douglas has their back. I'm going to ask you in absolute silence to stand where you are. Anyone want to stand up? Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge ahead of us is clear. We are here to make a difference. Empathy in action. We can do something with this. We can change this family's life. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2022-2023 Scots Angel, Wesley Strobel. Give him a hand. Like last year, we were doing an advisory competition again to fundraise for our Scots Angels. Last year, we were able to raise $5,700 between all of our advisories to give to our Angel. And I know that we can raise even more for Wesley. 
Other than bragging rights, the advisory class to raise the most amount of money will win a free drink from Dee's Corner Cafe. The advisory competition starts next week and will last for the next three advisories. So the next time you come to advisory, bring some spare change to donate to Wesley. And don't forget your pictures with Santa and the Grinch next week during lunch. Thank you and have a great day, Dawn.